Alrighty, we're going to start testing the OptiSpark uh, just with a multimeter. Most of you guys don't have an oscilloscope. If you do, that's the way to do it. It's a lot faster and more accurate. I will be testing from the ignition test connector up here um, located next to the intake manifold because quite frankly, uh, it's easier to get to. Uh, you may want to do your test down at the OptiSpark. It's not too bad. It's just more difficult simply because it's probably more accurate. Um, given this car is a known good, I don't really feel like sticking my hands down there on a warm engine, uh, so I'm not gonna. First thing I'm gonna we're gonna check is ignition source voltage. After I get my meat lead on there, you can see we got a nice steady 14.3. That's good. I'm gonna switch to ground and test that. I am connected directly to my battery terminal negative with a jumper lead. Do all your t that was just me moving stuff. Um, do not, the best place to test is off the negative terminal. Get Build a jumper, whatever. Go off the negative terminal of the battery. What You're seeing some bouncing around on the meter. That's just what they call ghost voltage. Don't worry about that. We can actually use that to our benefit, but I'm not getting into that just yet. When you're sticking back probes in, make sure you can feel the connector. Now you see here, it's bouncing a little bit. I'm on a ground here and I'm not seeing any voltage on it and that's a good thing. Let me double check my connection here with this back probe. There we go. I think I got it that time. Nice and steady. Looks good. Shouldn't see much voltage on the ground. And this is a completely valid test. I have a good ground in this distributor. If you see any kind of voltage much over 100 millivolts, uh, you got a problem. Right now we got that's about 30 millivolts, so we're good. That ground is good. We're going to do the uh, low res resolution signal first. It's a black red wire. This, this reading is not going to be steady, it's going to be bouncing. That is if I get my stuff set straight. You see how it's moving? That's normal for the low res signal because the pulse, the pulses are different sizes. Um, so it is going to move around a bit, but you can kind of see about what, you're, what you should have with a known good, about a volt, and it moves a little bit. Let me move my... Uh, let me, let me push this back probe in a little farther. Yeah, so around the volt, you're going to see it move a bit. Keep in mind the voltmeter is going to read an average. It's not going to read every single little pulse. It's reading an average. Um, this isn't 100% accurate because of that. It's not fast enough to see it, but an oscilloscope is. So this is an okay test. Um, you'll at least know if you have a good low resolution signal at the very least. This is a known good. I'm going to go to the high resolution signal. The Opti Spark puts out a 5 volt square wave on the high resolution signal. It cycles it on and off, on and off, on and off at regular intervals. Come on, back bro. That's another thing, guys, gals. Make sure you've got a good solid back probe connection. If you're unsure your connections, check it. Just check it. You want to make sure that you got accurate tests. So this is putting out about two and a half volts, and that's what I expected to see. You got a five volt square wave that is half on, 50% duty cycle. It's on half the time, off half the time. And if you're, pulling, if you're pulling 5 volts down the ground, then it's going up to 5 volts and down to 0, up to 5. What do you think your voltmeter is going to average that to? 2.5 volts. So th this is what you're going to see with a multimeter on this test, about 2.5 volts. I'm going um, to do the same test, but I'm going to do it with an oscilloscope, just so you have a good known uh, reference, and it's going to be a separate video.